Unlock the secrets of cassava, a root vegetable with a lethal twist. Did you know that the humble cassava, a global staple, hides cyanide within? Tune in to find out how this dangerous yet nutritious root has conquered kitchens worldwide. Serving up smiles one dish at a time, Food is Thy Mood is now live. Hey there, moody foodies! Today, let's dive into a deceptively ordinary-looking plant that's stirring up quite the buzz in the culinary world. I'm talking about cassava, or yuca, as it's known in Mexico. Now hold on to your snacks because this isn't your average root vegetable. While it may look like a sweet potato, cassava packs a surprising punch. It's actually toxic. But don't worry, that doesn't stop it from becoming a beloved ingredient worldwide. You see, cassava has been a staple in many diets for centuries, especially in regions of Latin America where it's been around for about 10,000 years. The Mayans were cultivating this ancient root around 1,400 years ago. What makes cassava so special is its ability to thrive in various conditions, including marginal and dry soils. This resilience made it a hit in southern Africa after the Portuguese introduced it there around 1558. But the story of cassava doesn't end there. Today, it's a global powerhouse in agriculture, ranking as the fourth largest source of carbohydrates in the tropical world. In 2021, global production of cassava reached an impressive 276 million tons. Nigeria stands as the world's largest producer with a staggering 59 million tons, followed closely by Thailand, a major exporter. In Brazil, cassava is not just a food crop but a key ingredient in biofuel production, highlighting its versatility beyond the dinner table. Its economic impact is substantial in these regions, providing both food security and income for millions. Additionally, cassava's role in traditional ceremonies and festivals across various cultures underscores its cultural significance beyond its nutritional value. From being a survival crop during droughts to a celebratory food, cassava's journey through history is as rich and diverse as its culinary uses. Now here's where it gets interesting. Despite its dangerous side, cassava is highly nutritious. Just 100 grams of cooked cassava contains a whopping 20% of your daily vitamin C requirement. It's also a great source of copper and other essential minerals. But wait, there's more! Beyond these, Cassava is a powerhouse of carbohydrates, providing about 38 grams per 100 gram serving. This makes it an excellent energy source, especially important in diets in developing countries. It's also relatively high in dietary fiber with about 1.8 grams per serving, aiding in digestion and gut health. Surprisingly, despite its starchy nature, cassava has a low glycemic index or GI, which means it raises blood sugar levels more slowly than other carbohydrate-rich foods like white rice or bread. This quality makes it a favorable choice for people with diabetes. Protein-wise, cassava offers about 1.4 grams per 100 grams, which is modest but still valuable in a plant-based diet. Furthermore, it's a gluten-free alternative, making it a go-to ingredient for those with gluten intolerance or celiac disease. Its diverse nutritional profile positions cassava as a versatile and beneficial staple in global diets far beyond its traditional uses. But let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, raw cassava can be poisonous. It contains chemicals like cyanogenic glycosides, which if eaten uncooked, can lead to a drastic drop in blood pressure, convulsions, and even death. Yikes! But fear not! Because when cooked properly, cassava transforms into a delicious and safe ingredient for all sorts of dishes. The process of detoxifying cassava is an art in itself. In regions like Africa and South America, traditional methods have evolved over centuries. For instance, in some African communities, cassava is grated and then fermented for several days to reduce its cyanide content. This fermentation process not only makes it safe but also enhances its flavor and digestibility. Historically, there have been instances where improper preparation of cassava led to outbreaks of konzo, a neurological disorder caused by cyanide poisoning from cassava. The World Health Organization reports that during food shortages, 
communities sometimes hastily prepare cassava, leading to increased risk. This highlights the importance of education about proper preparation methods. Modern techniques like using wetting and solar drying have been developed to ensure safety while maintaining cassava's nutritional benefits. These practices are crucial in preventing toxicity, making cassava a safe and enjoyable part of diets worldwide. So what does this naughty root taste like? Cassava has a unique nutty and sweet flavor. But be careful, there are sweet and bitter varieties. The sweet ones have minimal cyanogenic glycosides, while the bitter ones can have up to 200 times the safe level. Who knew a sweet tooth could be a lifesaver? To prepare cassava the right way, you'll need to peel the skin, soak it in water for a few days to degrade the cyanide, and then cook it thoroughly. This process turns it into a versatile ingredient for making tapioca, bread, or even gluten-free flour for baking. Around the world, cassava is used in some amazing dishes. In Colombia, they make a scrumptious cassava cake called a nucado, while in Western Africa, cassava balls are boiled and dipped into tasty sauces. But the versatility of cassava extends far beyond these examples. In Brazil, it's transformed into farofa, a toasted cassava flour mixture often served with beans and meat, playing a crucial role in their traditional barbecue. In the Caribbean, cassava is the star ingredient in bami, a flatbread that's a staple in Jamaican cuisine. Over in Asia, particularly in the Philippines and Indonesia, cassava is used in sweet treats like cassava cake and gatuk, a sweet and mashed cassava dessert. Cassava's adaptability to different culinary styles is remarkable. In some parts of the world, it's even fermented into alcoholic beverages, showcasing its cultural versatility. The global cassava market is booming, with a significant rise in demand for cassava-based products like snacks and gluten-free flour in Western countries. This reflects a growing appreciation for its culinary flexibility and its role in sustainable and culturally diverse cooking practices. From savory dishes to sweet desserts, cassava's culinary journey is a testament to its unique appeal and adaptability across various food cultures. Now, before we wrap up, let's clear up a common confusion. Yucca versus yucca. While they sound similar, they're entirely different. Yucca, with one C, refers to the plant we've been talking about, also known as cassava or manioc. It's a starchy root vegetable, rich in carbohydrates and an integral part of diets in many parts of the world. Yucca is known for its elongated, tuberous roots and is a species in the spurge family, Euphorbiaceae. On the other hand, yucca, with two C's, refers to a completely different genus of plants, unrelated to cassava. Yucca includes over 40 species of perennials, shrubs, and trees in the asparagus family, Asparagaceae. These plants are native to the hot, dry parts of the Americas and the Caribbean. Yuccas are known for their tough, sword-like leaves and large clusters of white or whitish flowers. They are often used in gardening and landscaping for their striking appearance and drought resistance. So while yucca feeds millions with its nutritious roots, Yucca beautifies landscapes with its architectural shapes and flowers. This distinction is crucial for gardeners, cooks, and food enthusiasts alike, ensuring that when you're talking about these plants, you're really getting to the root of the matter. So there you have it! Cassava, a deliciously dangerous root that's both a dietary staple and a culinary adventure. Did cassava cyanide surprise you? Share your thoughts below. If you enjoyed this culinary exploration, remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more food mysteries. Thanks for watching. Stay curious and remember, the most dangerous foods can often be the most delicious.